phone we know our user has the ability to choose from which channel they uh, they can get the otp either via sms or via email but now we need to send otp via sms but for that we need a sms provider the default sms provider is nexmo recommended by level and apart from that yeah we can have the nexmo here you have a better website which is having great service apart from that you can have twilio so which is again a great and famous one you can have more as service providers sms service providers if you want to know famous uh, sms providers you can go to the level uh, notification channels.com this is the website by level community and here you can see we have various sms providers yeah p levo is there clicker tail various things are there but you know i have tried all of these but i don't know what happened with these service providers they are having some trouble if they're having some delay on delay of one or two hour on sending sms to me so maybe that is the country related problem maybe my phone number or the uh, phone service providers so i don't know what happened but they are good but not working for me for now for demonstrating you how you can send a sms i have discovered a new service provider which is called carex.io this is a great website where you can have a sending sms api and they have very very cheap pricing if you can see if you have here they have just 0.00238 dollar uh, sms which is very cheap and the great part is that this is working for me instantly i get the sms so these things yes you can do same way yes we are going to use the carex so if you have any trouble later by using nexmo or by using the twilio you can just email me and you can message me but for now for demonstrating purpose i'm going to use the carex not a problem so what i'm going to do first thing first i will go and sign up here and let's sign up here so okay so you can see we need to verify our phone number to get the credits and i already have verified on another account so what i'm going to do i will go to here and yeah we have this account and this account has credit of 1.36 dollar because i have used a lot of sms here just for checking purpose you can just check here so i will type my number here like this and i will say hello here and if i try to send this sms and i will say send sms it says message send and to show you that message is there i will open my phone here you can see the sms hello is from carex is there so we just need to use this so we have the auth id and auth token so let's see how we can use it so i have created a channel for this so you need to go to github.com slash s hyphen sarthak slash level channel notification channel carex and i will provide the link in the description so you just need to copy this from here go to your level project and let's just paste this here so let's see on the composer.json our Bitfilms Carex notification channel is installed. So now, how we can use this Carex notification channel? So let's go to the uh, documentation of this Carex notification I have written. You just need to have this part on your services.php. So let's open services.php, which is actually inside your config and services. So this is the one and at the bottom, just paste it and obviously we need to have these two things on our env file so at the bottom i will say id is this and i need a token also which is this here so how we can get the id and token you need to go to the dashboard of your carex copy the auth id paste it here copy the token paste it here and this is done so we have done these two steps let's see the next step so we have installed we have configured this 
now we need to use our notification so we don't have any notification so let's create a notification so php addison make notification and notification name is otp uh, notification okay so this is good so let's copy from here and open it so here we have otp notification which which we have just created and inside this your notification means our notification which we have created this so here we need to say via carex class so we have this via method and instead of this we will say uh, okay via so channel carex channel let's import it at the top and then we need to have this function to carex method and instead of here let's paste it here and now we will provide the uh, phone number so it's like my phone number which is here and once more paste it and it says the content the message actually is your message comes here so I will type this is demo for OTP so let's try to send it how we can send the SMS notification so here we have written this part on last episode that if via method is selected as via SMS then we need to just say this notify and we are going to notify to new OTP notification and use it at the top and let's see once more what is the processes we have done the last thing we need to have this function on your user model so we are on the user model and just below this we can type that and this is going to return the email you can return the phone phone number also so in that way you can have the phone number here in a, the two method will provide the phone number okay but I think this is good just for demo purpose we will do that later so we are going to return the email okay so this is good so let's go to Firefox login give the email password OTP via SMS this is important so let's click on the login and we should expect uh, OTP and if I open my phone you can see this is this is demo for OTP we have not sent any OTP but we are getting the SMS so this is very cool and what we are going to do in the next episode we are going to create a column on our user table where we are going to store the phone number of the user and obviously we need to get the phone number while user is registering so these things we will do in the next episode and obviously we need to do lot of refactor and we need to write the test and yes I know this is not actually a test driven approach because in a TDD approach you first write test then you do something I'm just doing reverse and I think it doesn't matter whatever suits best for you just do that <laughs> so that's okay and uh, we will actually do a real TDD uh, series later so that will be just a test and work test and work not work and test <laughs> so if you have any problem just share with me and email me and if you have not subscribe to this channel go and subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye